in order to you know do creative projects or things that might require more resources than what's immediately available, is there a way to make decisions about how to uh, you know do bigger things? Mm -hmm. We have a thing called meeting time, which we do on Thursdays, where people can decide if they want to come and then like make decisions and then we vote on it and then try to make a date and then after chicken no after meeting there's check-in time where mm. we would discuss the more important things that happen in meetings the people who weren't in meeting mm -hmm. and so sometimes we have stuff like market day or like days where like a bunch of kids you could call it like some sort of like an open day or something mm -hmm. And then we would get resources and then we would ask what kind of plans do we want to make and what kind of things do we want to do and what do we think would be interesting for other people. And then it's, yeah, it's kind of like a whole thing that we got like plan and then we spread and, and then you can like invite your friends or family and stuff like that. And then it's kind of the whole thing. Yeah. Mm. Right on. So we have collectives like that. Yeah. So if you want something that sort of takes budget or whatever is, is very much where you need to go to meeting. But we also have situations like we just had yesterday where uh, one of the other members who isn't here didn't realize that there were people here who could help with animation. And he was mm. like, oh, I wish I could do animation, but there's no machines here that can do it and nobody can help me with it. And we're like, what? <laughs> I mean, he's relatively new. And, mm. you know, today he spent his... Uh, some of his morning in the lounge doing animation on a computer. And it was quite funny because uh, one of the teens, he was a little bit late. So one of the teens showed a seven-year-old how to use the software and he was playing with it. And then when this older 13-year-old arrived, the seven-year-old is the one who then taught the 13-year-old. So we also have uh -huh. sort of that going on. Yeah. Right on. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.